What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now this game is coming. Uh, Hideo Kojima has been working on it now for a number of years. I know that last year when Grand Theft Auto 5 released, he came out with a statement that he felt really bad about the prospect of his game do doing well after seeing what Grand Theft Auto 5 was capable of on a last gen console. Now GTA 5 of course broke all of records and the amount of stuff you can do in that game, I'm sure there's still tons of people, uh, you know, playing that game today and are still, uh, you know, finding new and exciting things to do playing that game. Now, I don't know if that has sparked Kojima to jump in this new direction with the game, but it may have had something to do with it. Because now Hayao Kojima honestly believes that gamers are going to take issue with how big Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain is, is going to be. This article is on IGN.com. There will be a link in the description. Follow it, following on previous claims, Metal Gear Solid creator worries that Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom, Phantom Pain players will start complaining that they can't clear the game. It's just too big to clear. Speaking with IGN, Kojima said the Phantom Pain has a risk that people won't be able to finish the story as it will be more than 200 times bigger than Ground Zero's. Now they've already said that Ground Zeroes is two hours long, about, so 200 times that. You're looking at 400 hours. That's a hell of a game. Now, I, let me say this. I love the original uh, Metal Gears all the way up to Peace Walker. I love the game in general. I love the mechanics. I love the stories. I love David Hayter. Okay, let me just say that. And uh, I love, you know, what Kojima has envisioned for this game. Now. If this game is going to be that big but still maintain the aspects of a Metal Gear Solid game that I've always loved, sure, I'll put in 400 hours and I'm sure a lot of you guys will too. I don't think many gamers are going to complain that they're still playing a game weeks in and they just can't beat it because you're always making progress and once you get to that precipice of the game and you finally beat it, that sense of achievement has got to be insurmountable, it has to be amazing to beat a game that takes you weeks to play. I mean, honestly, it'd be like playing an MMO to completion. I think that's an awesome uh, you know, thing to think about, especially for us gamers. Like I said, I love Metal Gear. I think that it's always been a great uh, you know, game for, you know, for me. Initially, the original Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1 was pretty hard. It had a pretty steep difficulty turn, and I was young back then, I was a teenager. But once I got the hang of it, and I finally beat the game, and I rolled off of Merrill, I thought to myself, damn, I wish I could continue. I wish I could play a whole nother, you know, campaign and do more things and continue on with this amazing story. But the technologically, the technological, uh, you know, limits were, were already reached back then because, you know, they were still on DVD uh, type, you know, uh, infrastructure. And then Blu-ray came and now we're even surpassing that, you know. But now with these newer consoles, more than likely going to have huge games coming out as long as these developers know how to utilize the hardware to pump out the max for your dollar. I think paying 60 bucks for a game that lasts 400 hours, it's a no-brainer. Unless you're playing something, you know, extremely repetitive. Now, I don't know how good the Phantom Pain is going to be. I'm not going to pretend like I am. I have not played the game. I'm waiting for the DLC to come out, the little, you know, the little tidbit, Ground Zeroes. That'll be kind of a taste. I'll know then what to expect from the Phantom Pain. You guys let me know if a 400 hour game is too long for you. If you paid 60 bucks for a 400 hour game, that was a good game. Would that be something for you to complain about? Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this game being so huge. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.